the belt of truth. Bible man is on the move. The sword of the spirit is the word of God. There's nothing it can't do. Bible man, Bible man, fighting the good fight, wearing the breastplate of righteousness and the helmet of salvation. The Bible girl, cipher and melody, fighting for the way. of Bible Man. Scrapping the Sultan's stinging stickers of selfishness, an adventure in patience. Proverbs 14, verse 29. A patient person shows great understanding, but a quick-tempered one promotes foolishness. Good-looking poster. You are one good-looking Sultan. Bible man will never suspect it is booby-trapped with a sting of selfishness dose 100 times more powerful than these stickers. Deserve, demand, dominate. The three D's to success. Attention all students. Please proceed to the gym. It's time to learn the secrets of success with the Sultan of Success. The principal always felt like she deserved a promotion, so I gave her two stickers for booking. You sly devil, you. It's showtime. Please don't forget to take your complimentary D3 sticker. Feels good to kick back. I almost feel bad that Melody is out on an office supply run. That's what happens when you draw the short straw. I don't know, Josh. Are you sure we should be, you know, relaxing? KT. Tell our nervous Leah what the threat level's been all morning. Threat level zero. The word is on the street. You mess with the kids, you mess with the Bible team. It's slush easy time. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 18 says, here is what I've seen to be good. It is appropriate to eat, drink, and experience good in all the labor one does under the sun. Except I don't see much labor going on under this sun. Relax, Leah. Even if the baddies do decide to show their faces, we'll be just as ready as always. Just think of this as a patio HQ. If you're not happy, that means you're not getting what you deserve. And since you deserve it, demand it. Do not just ask for it. Do not just say, please and wait. Demand it right now. And when you demand, you dominate. And when you dominate, you succeed. Enjoy your recess. Out of my way. I demand recess now. Come on, Bobby. It's my turn. Get your own slide. I'm dominating this one. It's mine. I deserve it right now. <laughs> Level 8.5 at Spruce Avenue Elementary School. No drinks in the Bible van, KT. Let's move. These threat signatures look like the whole school's been affected. And it looks like recess time. All the readings are coming from the playground outside. You're obviously dealing with a very clever villain here. We have to get to those kids. Whoa, that's a lot of angry kids. But where are all the teachers? We need to figure out what and who we're up against and neutralize the threat. Let's split up. Bible Girl, you and Cypher see what you can do on the playground. I'll head inside to see what's going on. Copy that. Bible Man? How did he get here so soon? Hello? He's here too early. Patience. He won't be able to resist your charming poster. D3? Right now, deserve, demand, dominate. The Sultan of Success? Why am I not surprised? Bible Girl, Cypher? Go ahead, Bible Man. It's the Sultan of Selfishness. He's the one behind all this. From what we're seeing out here, that sounds about right. Keep it back! I deserve it right now! Hmm. 
deserve right now? There's a poster of the Sultan in here with those words on it. Bible man, what's happening? It got me! Can't let go! It's working. It's working! Once the sting of selfishness has fully spread over Bible Man, even he won't be able to resist our teachings. <laughs> but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. That's Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Thank you, Bible Girl. Perfect timing. And perfect verse. Praise God, but we've still got a lot of work to do. Looks like they're all wearing these stickers. This is going to take all day moving one at a time. Do what you can. I've got a plan for after recess. Hey, hey, that's no way to behave. Everyone needs to wait their turn. And I demand my turn right now. Everyone's gonna have to wait because I'm dominating this slide. Everyone listen. James wrote, my dearly loved brothers, understand this, everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. That's James 1 verse 19. God doesn't want us to be impatient, angry, and demanding things. You might end up dominating the slide, but you won't have any friends to share it with. Excuse me, uh, shouldn't you be outside? Can't you see I'm reading? I work so hard all day, and I demand a break right now. Does that system broadcast to all the monitors in the entire school? If I say yes, will you leave me alone? Absolutely. Then yes. Perfect. Your plan didn't work. I told you it wouldn't work. What do you mean, my plan? We're in this together. Then why am I always the one who ends up with the bruises? Keep your voice down. Bible Man is just outside that door. Do you want him cornering us in here? Just be patient and find your chance to escape, quietly. Do I have to wait in here? It smells. I deserve it. No, I do. Attention all students. This is Bible Man. Bible Man's here? No way. Please return to your classrooms immediately for a special presentation on your class monitors, beginning right now. Hey, that's my line. Come on! Come on, let's hurry! The verse you're seeing is Proverbs 14, verse 29. Everyone read it with me. A patient person shows great understanding, but a quick-tempered one promotes foolishness. Proverbs 14, verse 29. A long time ago, there was a rich and popular man named Job. He was loved by his family. He had thousands of animals and hundreds of servants. He was the most successful man in the whole country. Job loved the Lord very much and prayed to him all the time. But one day, he was all taken away and he lost everything, even his family. Job was very upset, but he didn't curse God. He still praised him and prayed to him for comfort. But then Job's body became covered with painful sores. His wife told him to curse God, but still Job wouldn't. Three friends said God was punishing Job, but still, even after all his pains, Job refused to give up on God. A big storm came and God spoke to him. He was angry with Job's friends and sent them away. God was pleased with Job and he gave back everything Job had lost and more. Because Job had patience and trusted in the Lord, he lived a long and happy life. How do you feel, buddy? Um, I really need to go to the bathroom, like right now. Bible man? Welcome back, Principal. What happened? Are you okay, Mr. Sultan? Run! Freeze, Sultan! 
Yet again, Biberman, you have undone in mere minutes what took weeks of preparation. Oh, come now, Sultan. You know I can't take the credit. Please, I've heard enough for today. James 1 verse 19 says, My dearly loved brothers, understand this. Everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. You missed! Ew, that's gross. I shall return, Bible man. <coughs> Disgusting. Now that's taking out the trash. The Sultan is going to need some shiny new clothes. He got a head start on the Bible team and nearly took over the school. But his tempting words of demanding things and evil stickers weren't enough to overcome the Lord's eternal wisdom about patience.